chapter 6 bedtime what is bedtime bedtime is your sleep time okay the time when you go to bed that or when you go to sleep that is your bedtime so now let's do start reading it is bedtime i lie in bed and think of the fun i can have tomorrow so this girl here she is the speaker she is telling us that it is her bedtime that means it is her time to go to bed to go to sleep i lie in bed and think of the fun i can have tomorrow so she tells us that she is lying down on her bed that means she is in a flat position on the bed and she is thinking of so what does think of means think of means to imagine okay think of means to imagine so she is saying that i can imagine all the fun i will have tomorrow what does tomorrow mean the next day she is saying that next day i'm thinking of what all fun i will have i can dance around my room i can sing my favorite song so she now says that she can dance around her room around means all over so she is saying that i will dance all over my room and what i will do tomorrow i will sing my favorite song what does favorite mean that some, when you have something special okay each of us have something special some special song some special sweet some special dish so those are things which are special to us are, are called a favorite so she is saying that tomorrow i will dance all over my room and i will sing my favorite song i can go to the playground with my friends we can go up and down the slide zip zoom so now this girl she is saying that what she will do tomorrow tomorrow she will go to the playground with her friends now what is a playground playground is an area used by children for outdoor play okay so what is playground playground we can say it is area outside you have seen where you can have slides or where you can run around so that area is called the playground specifically it is the ground where children play so she is saying she will go there and she will play with her friends and where she will play what she will use she will play with the slide so here this is the picture of the slide and you can see the girl she is imagining herself climbing up and down the slide zip zoom i can help mother in the kitchen i may learn how to bake a cake teddy bear and i can have a tea party so now this girl she tells us that she can tomorrow she can help her mother in the kitchen now what is a kitchen kitchen is a place where we cook food so she is saying that she will help her mother in the kitchen because mother she usually is in the kitchen cooking food for her so she will help her mother in the kitchen and what she will learn from her mother to bake a cake now what is this word bake mean bake means when you cook something in the oven okay when you cook something in oven so that is called baking so she will learn how to bake a cake from her mother teddy bear and i can have a tea party now see in the picture this teddy bear here she is having a tea party with the teddy bear now how she will have the tea party first we need to understand what is a tea party tea party is actually a small party okay which takes place usually in the afternoon and what do we serve here in the tea party we serve you can see we serve tea and some snacks like cake or biscuits we serve that in a tea party i can blow bubbles in the air and burst them pop 
so now this girl she is thinking that one more thing i can do what i what she will do so see she has got this bubble maker and what she will do with the bubble maker she will blow air into it and so she will create bubbles and once she has created bubbles what she is going to do she will burst them what does burst mean to break them okay so she will make the bubbles and then she will break them and when these bubbles when these bubbles break okay when these bubbles break what is the sound we get we we'll get the sound pop so like that she will break all the bubbles or she will burst the bubbles next what she is thinking what she will do she is saying let us see i can go to the zoo with father and see naughty monkeys and a baby giraffe so now what she is planning she is planning to go to a zoo now what is a zoo zoo is a place where wild animals are kept okay so what she is thinking she is thinking that with her father she will go to the zoo and what she will see there she will see the naughty monkeys the mischievous monkeys and what she will see a baby giraffe now i am ready to sleep good night tomorrow will be a wonderful day so now this girl she is now feeling sleepy so she is saying that now i am ready to sleep so now she is saying i am ready to sleep and she wishes wishes all of us good night and she says that tomorrow will be a wonderful day wonderful what does wonderful mean wonderful means great day so she is saying that tomorrow will be a great day for her so with this we end the explanation of the chapter hope this has helped you understand the chapter better